Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I like to show you that how to clean this PC like personal computers these computers inside area and how we can take those dust away. And here when we check this my computer we can see that there is dust in 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 so much that it comes almost out in here and and this is my target that how we can take this dust away in inside this computer because this dust is really harmful in our computers and this also works like laptops and especially these desktops because this dust makes makes this uh, it actually makes at least two things what are very bad to our computers. This dust what is in here inside, it, it makes this computer inside parts more hot because this is like in insulation. This is like insulation, home insulation, you know. This, this uh, form what is what we use when we, we like to keep our houses heat and warm, warm. This dust is similar and then second thing is that this dust also, in some times, when there is really much this dust, it generates short circuits in inside of these personal computers, this motherboard and circuit board. Okay, and then when we start to clean our personal computer, and I have in here this high quality Dell computer, what, it may, what is made in USA, and actually at least now design and may be made and, and first when we start to clean this our computer there is important important that we clean this computer in firstly in outside and this cleaning is good to do in monthly basis that every four weeks we need to clean that outer area and here I have this my vacuum vacuum cleaner, there is my hose, and next I start this my machine, and I take this, this area first, this is like outer cleaning, and then I rotate this my computer in here, and there was dust in there, and I take those dusties next away, what are there, and here comes. and also in here and all other areas and then I open that cover and there we can see also lot of dusties in here and I take all of these dusties away Food. Okay, and this was like first step, and then I, then I show more, and then there is situation that this is like outside cleaning, and then we need to also clean this inside area, and that means that next we need to open these desktops, this. Uh, covers and and this this what I show is this Dell idea and this Dell works so that when I rotate that this way and then when we look in this upper area there is button in here and also when we look in the down area there is also similar button and I need to press first this upper part in here that button down like in that way, and then same time when I press that, I need to widen this computer, and then this part likes open, and same idea in here down, I press that button, and, and I, I widen this computer, and now this computer is like open, this cover, and it, sometimes we have computers that we have some screws in there, what we need to open and if you have any issues please ask your 
computer salesperson or service technician that how I can open this my desktop cover but in Dell this works nicely and then I open totally we need to open that totally this this computer inside area and then we start to look and investigate that where we have this dust okay and then when we look in here down area this is full of dust is very bad and I need to vacuum clean those and then when I look in here in that corner there is also dust and this is bad and I start my job in here and I take first these dust is over in here and Okay, this is clean, and then in that area... Okay, and then, now, now these areas are quite clean. And we can also use some cotton cloth, like, like that one, if we like to be really Toyota sales technical professionalism, we can clean also this all dirties away in here and then we have even better computer okay and then what we do next next we have some sensitive parts like this motherboard what is in here what is this computer C central processor in there and that part is so sensitive that I don't recommend to vacuum clean that area and it's good to let 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 him or this part in same position because if we vacuum clean that and we take contact in this circuit board we could or actually we can damage this circuit board and then our computer is is crap and that's I recommend that that we we stay away in this circuit board but then there is some other areas what we can vacuum clean, like these cable sets. We can clean in the central areas in vacuum cleaning and also this power unit, what is in here, power unit, what generates this computer's power. We can vacuum clean that other side, what is in here, there, there is this other side, I can take these over, clean. And then, then if there is in these self areas, what are self in here, like this DVD driver's position, I can vacuum clean also those. And I will do those things next, and I take my cleaner. Vacuum clean. First is hold this, in that way, and then a little bit upper area, and then in that area, there is dust, and there is cake okay, food, and then my power unit, what is in there, and there is this dust, okay, and then this upper area, food. Okay, excellent. And now, now I believe that this my my computer is more clean, and I have taken those inside areas, dust this away, and then next part is that that I close this door. And of course, if you have compressed air, you can insert this air in there, like in that way. here my compressed air and, and and then when I compress this air in here I can clean this my computer in that way but remember do not touch with that metallic nose in this metallic part. and this is actually useful and there is quite much dust okay and now I think that this is quite clean and then also that area, what is this central computer's this intake and, and, and 
then I think that I could also clean this central CPUs, this metallic fat, metallic thing in here, and cool. Now it's it's fine. Okay. Now I have vacuum clean, and also I have used compressed air, and now this computer is ready for use. And I close this panel, and please do, do also, and then we check that all covers are fine. And now is my my this computer is ready for use, and the final step is to use cotton cloth and clean all parts in here. Okay, and this was this information that how we can clean our personal computer. And thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you.